Hi guys! So today I wanted to show you some of my beauty favorites. The last time I did this was a few years ago, so just an update because things do change. And if you guys are wondering, I'm just wearing this Nike hat and it's like, um, it's more of like the athletic feeling, so it's not like you can like sweat in it and it won't get dirty type of thing. And then this says weekends are for cuddling and this was from Target and it's a light pink color. I don't know if you could tell from the camera. So first I'm going to start with my favorite product and I swear I have gone through two bottles of this now and it is just amazing. It's I use it for my skin. I use it for my hair. I love it so much. So this is my holy grail product right here. You can't really see it. So the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and I probably said that really wrong the pronunciation, but I'm sure you guys have heard of this. They sell it at Urban Outfitters or Amazon once again. Love Amazon. And this is the large bottle. They normally have the smaller ones. This is the 8 fluid ounces. I think normally it's 6, I believe. And I went through the little one. I have another little one for backup, and this is the big one. So I seriously love this stuff. It's so fresh. Like, you could just spray it on your hair, and it freshens it up. It's just awesome. And then also a secret that I've been noticing now, if you do have naturally curly hair like I do, and your hair is looking a little dry throughout the day, use some of this and it'll definitely freshen it up and it will look like a beach wave. So that's really pretty. So then another thing which I know I've mentioned in my What's My Purse video is the Aquaphor. This is definitely a favorite for me. It works wonderfully and it just keeps your lips so hydrated and you don't have to keep applying it like the chapsticks and the regular ones so I definitely love that and then this is actually a sample that I got in when I purchased some Chanel makeup but I definitely think I'm going to purchase this and it is let's see so there you go you can see it so it is the weekend Chanel um, moisturizer renew so you put this on at night but don't use it all the time just maybe on the weekend like it says or just once out of the week and it definitely refreshes and makes your skin look hydrated. So I definitely love that. And then I'm going to show this dupe that I did find. And I do think it's a very good dupe. So the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Which I'm sure a lot of you know and love. Because I have always loved this product. I definitely think is a dupe for the Too Faced Born This Way. Definitely think these are a dupe. They apply the same way. They're both liquid. They're not matte. They definitely leave you looking very glowy and I definitely do love that look more than the matte because I do love to look glowy and just more natural and not so much matte so definitely try out the if you like the Too Faced Boreless or you've been wanting to try it definitely try out the two um the true matte Lumi because it's definitely similar and I don't see a difference you know the bottle is a little nicer but this one's still glass as well so it's really nice and then another thing that I do like which is also L'Oreal is a True Match Super Blendable Powder and I do get this in a dark color because I use this as a bronzer and it's matte and I do notice that a lot of times when you want to use a matte bronzer with no glitter in it to be contouring it's very hard to find at the drugstore so definitely try this out and I got it in C8 so definitely try that if you're looking for a matte bronzer from the drugstore. Now um, I'll go on to the my favorite lotion right now it's from Bath & Body Works, and it's the Pink Confetti. How adorable is this packaging? It's so cute, and it smells amazing. I love it. It just smells so good. So definitely try this out. And I do like the body creams more than the lotions. I feel like they're a little bit heavier, but not as oily. So definitely try that if you think that the other ones are oily, because I have noticed that. So then, another favorite would be the CoverGirl True Naked in Nudes, and this is the 805. I've definitely used this a lot. It's definitely my go-to. It has colors that I love. So this one, I love using as a highlight under my brow. I, I even use it if I don't have a highlight, you know, in the areas that I highlight normally. It's awesome. I love the brown for just, you know, the little part that you, like, contour there and just... It's just a great color. And then also this light brown too. It's not picking up brown as well. But it's a beautiful, beautiful. And it's pigmented and it's definitely good for drugstores. So definitely try that out. And it's in the 805 color girl, cover girl. Now, this is a Too Faced Naturalize that I love. 
I don't grab this one as much as the one I just showed you, but just to show you something higher end. And here's those colors. So it's similar, very similar. So it's definitely a dupe. So right here would be that color that I told you I gravitate to grab the most. And then there's that brown that you can use to, you know, highlight the, you know, where the bridge is. Definitely use that there. And then this would be good for your lids. So definitely very similar. Let me show you those just next to each other because they definitely are similar. There you go. So you definitely see some similarities there. So definitely try one of those out if you're interested in those colors, which I think anyone uses. They're great. Now, two of my favorite perfumes. I'll start with this one. This is my favorite. It's Brawn Goddess by Estee Lauder. And I definitely have used a lot of this. It's like empty. I love this scent. Some people don't like it around some of the pool, but I definitely love this scent. It is amazing, and I do sometimes even not use it in the summer. I use it in the winter. That's how much I love it. Definitely try this out. I love the scent. Now, my nighttime scent is the Black Opium by Saint Laurent. I love this packaging. How adorable. It's just glitter, and then it has the pink here. It's so pretty. And I really love the scent of this. It's a little more like musky, I would say, and just a nighttime scent. Definitely a lot different from the Estee Lauder one that I just showed. And then two vitamins that I love to take. Um, I try to take them. The gummy vitamins are the only way I can take vitamins. Otherwise, I feel sick if I take the normal ones. Just doesn't work well for me. So this Oli Vibrant Skin is one that I like to take. And I do like these. These taste very good, the gummies, the Olay. They're really, really good. Now, I have the Alive Woman's Gummy Vitamins, and that's just your everyday vitamin. And I have to say, this does not taste as good as this one. So I think next time, I'm going to get the Woman's Vitamin in this brand. I think they should have it. So these are the two vitamins that I do take. And then just something that I like to use, and I try to do this every night, but sometimes I don't remember every night, it is the castor oil, and I did get this on Amazon, and a little goes a long way, so you just put a little Q-tip in here, and I like to put it on my eyebrows, so sometimes, you know, if we have, like, trouble growing in our eyebrow, if there's a bad waxing experience, use this, it'll slowly grow back. You can also use this on your lash line, so you want to apply that on your lash line, just be careful it doesn't get in your eyes, you don't want to you know, get infection in your eye, anything like that. And then you also can use this on your hair as well. So just like coconut oil, it's good for your hair. And it definitely helps grow your hair out and keep it moisturized. So that's the castor oil. And that's it then for my favorites right now currently. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And I hope that you will try out some of the products. And let me know if you do try them out. I'd love to hear what you guys think or if you have tried any of these out. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys subscribe. So I will have that annotation up here if you want to subscribe. My most current video is here. So just definitely enjoy. And I will be making a lot more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and appreciate you. Definitely leave me feedback. I do enjoy that. Okay. So bye. Thank you so much.